Hello and welcome to another quick Bob's vlog. I'm coming to you today, it's Friday the 30th of September. Uh, I'm coming to you today from the parade seafront in, in Cowes on a, I have to say, beautiful uh, late summer's day. I'm not quite sure officially if it's autumn yet, but it's, we've got gorgeous weather. So I hope that continues through to the weekend. Uh, just a, a couple of items for you uh, for today. Um, Parliament's now prorogued. Um, we had a fairly chaotic last couple of days. I have to say, I think I was incredibly unimpressed by the lack of, partial, the lack of impartiality shown by the Speaker. Whether you agree or support Brexit or not, and I do, and we have to vote for it and get it through because it respects the mandate of the 2016 referendum, the partiality of the Speaker is not a good thing and the Speaker needs to be impartial. And I very much hope when we choose the next Speaker, high on that person's bid, he or she, but high on that person's list of priorities, will be rebuilding the reputation of that really important office. Right, what else? I think since I've last spoken to you, I've, uh, we've held two meetings on the island plan in Newport and in East Cowes last Saturday. Well, that was linked specifically to the Crossways development, but it's part of the broader issues about planning and about housing on the island. And tonight, Friday, we have another island uh, plan meeting in Rookley, in Rookley Village Hall, which I'm very much looking forward to. So I'm seeing all those good folks. It starts at six o'clock and it's going to go on um, uh, for an hour, hour and a half uh, maximum. Uh, I'll be talking for sort of 10, 15 minutes and then we just take questions from the floor and we have a, a more generalised discussion. Uh, what else? Um, we've got more money coming for Hampshire and Isle of Wight Police, which is another good victory. And the Chancellor was kind enough to thank me for my campaign highlighting uh, the need for more Hampshire and Isle of Wight police um, and we need to keep making that case because Hampshire and the Isle of Wight police are a very efficient force and they've been somewhat penalised for being so efficient and for being highly competent in the way they run themselves so we need more uh, bobbies on the beat both on the mainland but also specifically on the island as well. What else? Clean Air Zone. I've written to Portsmouth Council. Portsmouth Council want to introduce a Clean Air Zone and start to levy taxation on uh, lorries that come through the city. Now, I totally understand the need for clean air. We love having clean air on the island and I want to have clean air in Portsmouth and Southampton as well. However, I'm worried about the additional cost that's going to bring to lorries um, coming over to the island. And I don't want to have a negative effect on prices here to keep um, Portsmouth City happy. So I'm going to be looking to work with them to find a way that we can respect their need for clean air whilst at the same time respecting our need uh, to get lorries on and off the ferries um, in a way that doesn't impact negatively on, on our life here on the island. Uh, what else? We've got a couple of big announcements coming up, I very much hope. Um, I think they're being finalised at the moment. Uh, and as soon as I have more news on them next week and in the weeks to come, uh, I'll be back with you for more information. Otherwise, for the next couple of weeks, I'm on the island doing meetings uh, almost every day uh, and holding constituency surgeries. So if I don't see them, I'm sure uh, I'll give you another Bob's vlog. I'll update you with another Bob's vlog um, probably early next week. So have a good weekend and I'll speak to you next week.